BTS's Jungkook has seemingly addressed the girlfriend rumors after a video blew up on Chinese social media. A few days ago, a clip started circulating with someone claiming that this was Jungkook embracing his girlfriend, even somehow suggesting she might be pregnant. This video was then uploaded to Twitter, garnering millions of views, which started a debate on whether or not it was actually him. From comparisons between his hair, the couch, the lamp, the windows, and even the dog. Well, yesterday, while Jungkook was live on station head talking to fans, he seemingly addressed the situation, repeating, I don't have a girlfriend, I only want to work. He also commented that there's no need to sue anybody and to just leave it be. Unfortunately for YG Entertainment, rumors and reports about Blackpink's future continue to persist. The latest reports we've now gotten are that Jennie and Jisoo have or will establish their own individual agencies. What is consistent with previous rumors is that the girls are still discussing a hybrid contract with YG YG regarding group activities. Once again though, the only reason we keep talking about these reports is because YG came out once again responding that no confirmation has been made. It looks like one of the reasons YG seems to be making more official statements than we're used to is because their stocks go crazy every time a new report gets traction. On top of that, everything the girls do now is under a microscope. People trying to piece together clues, Lisa traveling without any YG staff creates speculation, Rose's social media captions create speculation. Shiny's recent comments, however, garnered a lot of backlash. In a recent episode of Shiny's own show, Ki and Taemin joked around about how Minho's skin tone is darker after his outdoor activities. Many fans found this disappointing as they felt these comments, while maybe lighthearted, still had negative colorist implications behind them. That it shows how systematic the problem is when something like this gets passed to broadcast. Many people then tried to express their appreciation for Minho's skin tone, while others brought up past examples of similar problematic remarks. Well, not only has that portion of the episode now been removed, Taemin, Ki, and the production company have all released separate apologies, addressing everyone who felt disappointed and hurt, explained that there was no ill intent, and the two members cited their comments as insensitive and inappropriate, now fully understanding why it was disrespectful. In an update to the story we talked about in the previous video, Kingdom's company also apologized this week. After a preview was released for their upcoming album, many fans criticized the design of the album as it seemed way too similar to the Quran, the sacred religious text of Islam. While the agency has now apologized to those who may have been offended and felt uncomfortable by this, expressed regret for their lack of awareness and oversight, and announced a recall of over 70,000 copies of the initial album which will all be disposed of, and they plan to reproduce the album with a new design. The final piece of more serious news is regarding idols we may not see for a while. Jungmin, who was supposed to be debuting with NCT's new and final team, will no longer be doing so as it was decided that due to his ongoing health issues, Jungmin won't just be absent from their pre-debut tour, but will not be debuting with the group at all. He will focus on recovery and return as a trainee, while NCT's newest team will move forward as six. Unfortunately, following their recent debut, Fantasy Boy's k Soul will have to halt his activities temporarily and returned to China due to the health of both his father and grandmother. Twice's Cheyoung also had to recently sit out of their two-night show in the Philippines due to her own health. With all that, let's get into the positive things that we can celebrate in K-pop. Although Young had to miss the concerts we just mentioned, there was something to celebrate at Twice's show as this happened. <laughs> Congrats to Blackpink's Lisa, who's obviously made so many headlines this week. First of all, earning another Guinness World Record with the first K-pop track by a solo artist to reach 1 billion views on Spotify with money. On top of that, of course, she also became the first idol to perform at the Crazy Horse Cabernet in Paris, something she's seemingly been a fan of for a while now. It's also a private show, so there's not really footage for me to show you guys. Not that I would be able to anyway. Although from everything that's been revealed, it doesn't sound like she went nude or anything like that. Even her 
mom apparently said after the show, I thought it'd be sexier. Guys, by the way, after the successful giveaways we did for the Icon Tour, I'm once again teaming up with the awesome Leo Presents, who's doing it even bigger for Purple Kiss's debut tour in the US, giving away a pair of GA tickets to three winners in each city. Hurry and go to this tweet that mentions our collaboration. Actually, I don't think they're giving away tickets for Phoenix anymore because it's already sold out. Boston and New York are about to sell out as well. So definitely get tickets if you're a fan and don't want to gamble on the giveaway. I cannot wait. Also, congrats to ATs, whose song Say My Name will be featured in the game Just Dance 2024. Now, I added this topic here for a very specific reason, as Say My Name of course features their driving dance that if you remember, was in a plagiarism controversy involving Vata on Street Man Fighter. Well, now fans are celebrating that the dance will be immortalized and associated with ATs in this game. Block B can now fully reunite as PO has officially been discharged from the military. Let's also celebrate the security guards who make the artists we love feel safe and keep everyone around them safe. Lately, we've had an influx of crazy airport crowd stories. This is 17's June slowly getting mobbed as he landed in China. One man even broke through the barriers and put his arm around June. This is what it looks like when both NCT and Enhypen members are at the airport at the same time. Shout out to the Enhypen bodyguards who are basically protecting both groups. And how can we not talk about Stray Kids bodyguard while they were in the States who was not gonna let anything happen to the guys. And of course, we've had a bunch of comebacks and releases since the last video, including Kepler, One Us, XG, pre releases from Ive, Billy, and BI, and of course, the huge collaboration between Jack Harlow and BTS's Jungkook, by the way, also known as one of the greatest global superstars. Woohoo, Jungkook! I was just in good fun. I actually think she's awesome, especially if you saw what she did right before that interview. So, yeah, my English is bad. Yeah. We're yep. just happy you're here. You're you're gonna just, do my you English is terrible. <laughs> I'll let you know when you're ready. What and it's not live, so. Okay. okay. Place, okay. place her where she has to be. Yeah. Easy question. Okay. That's part of Relax. Exactly. Yep. Wait, let's take a deep breath. Ready? <laughs> and do a little like. <laughs> Yep. Good. <laughs>